Hey there, White DPC. It's your boy Cosmo, Cat Dead Piper. Just uh, out on the deck tonight, smoking <laughs> some Colt Blood Red Moon in my little Missouri Meerschaum Cherry Hardwood Pipe. It's a good little pipe for it. I feel like you almost get some of the cherry wood in the end. Of course, it is. I decided to make a video. My neighbor's air conditioning kicks in. Must be like the North Pole in there. It's always on. But anyways, thought I'd come to you with an updated list of my top five most wanted tobaccos, and I'll have that in a top five playlist with my other videos. Um, knocked a few of them out from my last list, so I thought it'd be time for an update. First, couple honorable mentions. First one is, uh, PS41 Cube Cut. Been hearing a lot of good things about it lately, and I've never had a Cube Cut, so I think it'd be interesting to try that. Um, another one I think would be really good to try would be uh, Cornell and Dill Bijou. Which I believe is an aged tobacco as it is. Um, I've seen a couple reviews on that and it just sounds good. So, with that, here's my top five most wanted as of the date this video is posted. Uh, number five is perhaps an old codger blend. It's certainly one that's been around for a while. And that is Velvet. For some reason, and we don't really have a tobacconist per se in my area, but for some reason that's one of them that's just not available. The uh, closest thing we have to a pipe store has like an old tin of it. Or not a tin, a tub of it. Um, but because of state taxes, uh, the price for it is just outrageous. So, that's number five, Velvet. Uh, number four uh, is another one that seems to be pretty popular. Been around for a long while. And that is Three Nuns. And the main reason that's on the list uh, is just simply the fact that I know that's the blend of choice for C.S. Lewis. And uh, my middle name is Lewis, spelled the same way. Uh, it's, it's a family name. Uh, not related, I'd like to think we were, but I don't think we are. And I am a fan of his works. I've read, I think I've read the Screwtape Letters, Chorus Lion, Witch Wardrobe, that whole series. Uh, my favorite of C.S. Lewis has to probably be his uh, Allegory of the Great Divorce. Currently rereading that right now. And apologize here, there's one fly that is out to get me tonight. Decided to join me for a smoke. So Velvet, number five. Number four, three nuns. Uh, number three is GLP's Maltese Falcon. Again, I've just heard nothing but excellent things about it. Um, I like the description of it. And recently with Esoterica, Margate and uh, Cross-Eyed Crooner. I've gone into the English blends and that's supposed to be a fantastic English blend. Number two on the list is one that carry over, carries over from last time and that is uh, I'm going to probably say it wrong Galwith and Hogart Black Irish Twist Seems like it's never in stock uh, but probably because our boy Onion over at 
2 a.m. pipe on the patio has it all. I'm just kidding. I mean, I, I know you probably don't have as much as, as I think you do, but don't know a whole lot about it. I've read the description. It sounds interesting. Uh, don't really have a whole lot of, or any actually, well, except for 3Ps, I guess, have experience with plug tobacco. But as far as I'm concerned, if it's good enough for Onion, and that is his favorite blend, well, it's good enough for me. So that's my number two. And number one blend carries over from last time. Still number one. Just gave away a uh, tin of it for my gaw waiting to be shipped off. And that is Seattle Pipe Club Plum Pudding Bourbon Barrel Aged. Now I know they've got a few different plum puddings, uh, Seattle Pipe Club, but I want to try the Bourbon Barrel one. Love anything with Bourbon Barrel, generally speaking. And uh, I will get a tin of that in time for my birthday. But in the meantime, it's just going to have to stay on the list. So, there you go. Uh, let me know what's your number one tobacco on your most wanted list. Leave that in the comments. Uh, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe. Tamp that like button. And as always, thanks for watching. And most importantly, God bless, and we'll see you soon.